A digit is a single symbol that represents a number. In positional numeral systems, the base tells us how many distinct digits we have to express numbers using numerals. Base 2 has two digits, base 3 has three digits, and this pattern holds all the way up to base 10 and beyond. What happens though when we go higher than base 10? With positional numeral systems, the base tells us how many of each place we can count before carrying over to the next place. If we start counting in base 10, we need a symbol for 0 and symbols for 1 through 9. This gives us these, 10 digits we are used to. These 10 digits are required in base 10 because we don't start reusing symbols by carrying over until we get to 10. The question here is, what happens when our base goes higher than 10? And beyond! When we go higher than 10, the same base to digit pattern will hold, so we will have to have more than 10 digits. To answer this question, let's consider base 16, which also goes by the name of hexadecimal. We're here in the notebook again. Don't forget that I've made this available so you can play around with the numbers yourself. We have base 16 selected, so we're ready to go with hexadecimal. Now, if we count up to nine, we'll see that everything looks the same as it does with decimal. The specific question we have now is, what will happen when we get to 10? If we were in base 10, we would be out of digits at this point, and we would just carry over to get a one in the tens place. This would represent the fact that we have one group of 10. But we're in base 16 now, and in base 16, we don't carry over until we get to 16. So we pretty much eliminate that option. With that being said, it appears that we are going to get another symbol. But what symbol should we get? What's a distinct symbol that would do a good job at representing the number 10 in base 16? Before I show you, I want to mention that the symbol isn't required to be anything specific. The choice of which symbol we use is arbitrary, which just means we can choose anything we want. Something subtle but important about this fact is that it reveals to us that the symbols we call digits, these symbols, are also just arbitrary symbols that represent numbers. These symbols are not the numbers themselves, but represent the abstract concept of a number. Alright, let's do it. And there we have it. In base 16, the number 10 is expressed using the numeral A. This seems logical, right? After the symbols for the digits 0 through 9, letters are the next set of symbols that are most familiar to us. And as you might guess, this pattern keeps on going, all the way up to 15. In base 16, the number 15 is expressed using the numeral F. Now is the time in base 16 when we are ready to carry over. And this is because we've used all the digits 0 through 9 and A through F for a total of 16. When we cross over from 15 to 16 in base 16, we have our first group of 16. So we carry over and get a 1 in the 16s place. Now with this being said, what if we had 10 16s? What do you think this would look like? 10 16s is 160 in decimal, so we just need to add a zero to the number in decimal form to see it. As you might have expected, we get the digit A in the 16s place and the digit zero in the ones place. Watch how it looks when we run up to 160 from zero. And beyond that, We can just stop at 512 and see that 512 is expressed in base 16 using the numeral 200, which gives us two 256s, zero 16s, and zero ones. Now in general, the pattern of using letters as our digit symbols keeps going all the way up to 36 when we run out of letters in the alphabet. Let me show you what this looks like in base 36. In base 36, we go all the way up to Z in the ones place, and then we carry over to get one group of 36. It is possible to keep increasing the base past 36 though. All we need to do is come up with more symbols, and positional numeral systems work in the same way. 
I chose to work with hexadecimal because it's one of the systems with a base that's greater than 10 that's more popular in computing. The popularity of base 16 is mainly due to its relationship with base 2. Now you know what base 16 is and how other positional numeral systems like it use other symbols other than the typical digits that we are used to. Bases that use other symbols really help us see the difference between numbers and numerals. We're ready now to look at the patterns that I mentioned before in the previous video. So get ready for that and I'll see you over in the next one.